Hello and welcome to Simon Tech Notes. My name is Christian and I'm part of the technical support team here. In this video, we'll be going over data logging within Ultimate Access. To begin, open up Simon D, that is the Simon Designer application in the Ultimate Access package. To locate data logging, we're going to go up to the toolbar here, look at the, for the icon that kind of looks like a calculator with a plus sign on it. It's data logging. So if I click on that, you can see I've already made a data logging model. I've named it demo. We're going to make some adjustments here. I want it to be on a regular interval of one second. I chose to save on the desktop for convenience sake for us. It'll appear over here on our left hand corner. And then I want it to be daily, a max number of files of 10. If it exceeds 10, it will record, it will overwrite over the most historical file. So you will lose your most historical file if you don't keep up with the management of the file. It's just an FYI. If you don't want it to overwrite and you want to save before overwrite or a warning before overwrite, you can choose this option, browse, and then have a backup file stored in another location. Now that I have my logging model downloaded, I need to choose it with some tags in order to actually use it. So I did want to apply my changes. I'm going to go to the tag database. I have tags one through four all logging to the database or the logging model of demo. So you have to go to the advanced tab, click on data logging, and then you choose the logging model that you're going to pick. If you don't have one, you can always create one via the little folder over here as well. You don't have to go to the other method, but this is the other way that you can create a logging model. After I exit the database, I know that I'm going to be getting this file that's going to be accumulating over time, but how do I read it? How do I look at it? Because by default, it's in a CLD format, so I want to convert that to maybe a TXT file or an Excel sheet, or maybe I just want to copy and paste it on a notepad. So to do that, you're going to create a little button. I've made a button here, and the command is log file dialog, and then parentheses, parentheses, semicolon. The way to do this is to make it a touch button, and then change the action to command expression. And then go ahead and write this command. When I push this button, some commands will pop up allowing me to convert my data. I'm going to go ahead and run simulator so we can see what's going on. So right now, at the top left, I've already started to accumulate data. This was not here before. If I press view data, I'll see that I have a logged data file right here. I can clipboard it so I can copy it go to a notepad and paste it and it will paste the values for me that are being interpreted right now because there's a script running in the background that is throwing out random values for the tags that I have chosen. And then this is the format it will be in a TXT file. If I don't want to save it, I don't have to. I can convert it to a TXT file directly and then save it somewhere. So if I choose the desktop, I can just save it right there. And then boom, I have a TXT file on my desktop with a log data, or if I want a CSV, I can do the same method. Go to my desktop, choose that, and I have all my logging model logged on my desktop in or wherever location that you want to pick. That's it for data logging on Ultimate Access. Thank you for viewing.